Hey there, everybody. Uh, this is just a quick uh, introduction to storyboardthat.com. So this is entirely free and it's pretty easy. I've tried on my iPad too. Didn't have too much trouble. So if you do, let your teacher know. Um, but basically you start, you go to the website, obviously. You click on create a storyboard. Now I am no professional at this. Um, and But this is just, I took a few minutes to try and figure this out to hopefully maybe save you some time. Uh, so if you look, Right, it says add a scene. So you have like the little helpful hints. Ugh, cookies, I'm tired of cookies if they aren't real, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, uh, and then characters as well up here. So you got the backgrounds and the characters. So you start with the background. On an iPad, it's gonna give you an option. You should be able to touch and drag. And you'll see like once you put it here, you have all these options. You can edit what's in the scene and get really specific with it, okay? so. This is about your creativity. This is about an interesting way to do um, an assignment rather than just the alternative is having you write an essay, and that's boring. So um, make sure you aren't like you know wasting your time with that. So that's scenes, all your backgrounds, characters up here. You can do all sorts of people. I highly suggest you use 1600s, 1800s because we're telling a story in the late 17 or early 1800s, right? So there's all sorts of costumes you'll find here. So let's get our this is actually 1600s, but whatever. Uh, so we get our guy here, right? Okay, I know the tips. Um, so you can make him bigger than buildings or smaller, any of that stuff. I actually really like this. You can edit the pose. Again, get creative. Oh no, now he's crying with a beard and his hands. <laughs> like that. So you can do all sorts of stuff like that if you want. Um, Important things to remember when you go down here in order to add cells, add delete cells, the biggest it should let you do is this three by two. Okay, that's six total. I think that's the biggest it's gonna let you do. I don't know if it'll even let you. Yeah, it'll let you do that. Six total, it'll let you do six total in any case. So that is what the requirement is for the assignment. Um, no. So if you have to create an account, you can just log in with your school Google, I think. You could even do this twice. If you don't want to create an account, you can save this. Okay, I guess you have to log into the account. I feel like I didn't this morning. Oh, well. Um, but you have a Google account through school. So you can do it that way. But when you click on save, it'll give you the option to do it as a PDF. If that doesn't work, just screenshot it. Um, it's I'm allow We're allowing file uploads into Canvas, so whichever works. As far as word bubbles, I almost forgot word bubbles. You go to the textables for that, right? And he's here, click to edit. I'm crying, right? I don't know. So this is story back, storyboard that hopefully um, that helped cut just a few steps. Again, you will probably be better at this than me if you had actually take a couple minutes to um, get good at it. Because uh, I learned a lot in just a few minutes of messing around with it. So there you have it. Good luck. I'm looking forward to seeing some amazing, amazing storyboards in my class, as well as Miss Whistle and Miss Preston's classes. Okay, so work hard on this. Be creative. Don't make us assign you essays.